Hello and welcome to this week's video uh, where we show you how we pack for our trip away. Um, we're currently away on holiday in Royal Deeside so we're just going to give you a little look around our van where we've got things where they're kept for travelling and whilst we're living in the van. So we're going to start at the back of the van for my bit and work forward. So here we've got six storage lockers and let's reveal what's inside them. So in this one, um, it's our entertainment cupboard. So there's games, cards, charging things, books, uh, activities, a bit of crochet. I brought my crochet, I'm going to learn how to do it. Um, these two, oh, flying socks. Oh, let's close that one. <laughs> Flashing your underwear. I know, oh dear. You'll have to, you'll have to fuzzy that bit out. No. Nobody, nobody wants to. And then other clothes, yeah. Well, let's see how tidy your side is. Oh, okay, then, fine. This yeah. is the inside. Okay, oh. that's clothes and the drone. And then this one. That one's clothes, that's Ooh, fine. Oh, look, Ian's pants. You know. <laughs> All the way. And, and this then. is the camera equipment cupboard and also the SNES and the oh. charging station. That's all the camera equipment in there. So you'll cover what's under these. Okay. And then we've got the wardrobe where the rest of my clothes I'll try and peer in there, shall I? This is Caroline's clothes, pretty much from up as you'd expect in a wardrobe. But also in this wardrobe, we keep on the right hand side of it, table. Can't quite see in there. Well, the it's table leg is there. Table leg, but we also keep another table on An the right hand side. Table. It's currently yeah. outside. It's currently outside. In there. And some wine at the back and of the wine. corner. Wine. <laughs> There's a wine store. Quite right. Okay. Moving forward. Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. So in the top locker, we've got crockery. Nice. And then in the drawer, cutlery and bits and bobs, Excellent, really useful plastic bags with zippers on, really good if you, you know, if you open something and then you want to store it in the fridge. I've got loads of plastic containers at home but they work just as well when you're on the road. And then moving down, it's the in the bottom it's just uh, cleaning stuff. Cleaning and then the tiny, just pull them out. And then uh, a, fit, a food box in there. So yeah. you've got the, the tea bags, um, pasta, pasta sauces. Dry um, foods. Yeah, dry food store. Excellent. Tonics, Good. obviously. Yeah. Um, More food. Now, in the oh, oven. Yeah. In the oven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still got the instructions in and the, the packing. In the oven, yes. Well, you still a rich monkey. A rich <laughs> monkey. Still, yeah. But we do put one of these like silicon mats stops in. Stops it sliding around. Stops it sliding and rattling. You're in transit. Look at the oven. We're not allowed to use it. That's it. Move on. And then the bottom cupboard. Oh, your bottom cupboard. Kettle. It's pans. pans and kettle. Yeah, pans and kettle. So that's what a story. We've never shown our van with stuff in it before. This is the first time. No, it's the best okay. bit you want to see, isn't it? Yeah. So in this one. This is, is new. This is new for this trip. Dry store food. Yeah, we were running out of space for all the crisps and bread products <laughs> and cereal. So we've got. So we moved here. them to there now. Very handy, just above the diner. Yeah, it's just you know good snack cupboard for the okay. evening, easily accessible. In that one, toilet roll, spare bedding, towels. Good. That's very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, there we've got we've trapped something in there. It's your uh, coat emergency there. There coat. Go. Thanks. So. My fault. That's it. Bathroom. Bathroom. Well, bathroom cupboards don't just store nice stuff in there. Yeah, just standard bathroom stuff. You don't need to see that. In the cupboard as you would expect, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Um Oh, you, your trip is bedding up there. So we put the bed in. As soon as we arrive, we throw upstairs the bed in uh, for putting it on the pop top. So as soon as we upstairs, don't we? Yes, keep it out of the way. It's all up there, ready for bed. Okay. Anything else? I'll let you take over the rest of the useful items. Okay, fine. Let's go. 
So when we're traveling, this is where the barbecue lives, by the back of the barn doors. And in front of it is the kayak. And the kayak's wedged in. Um, it's in a soft bag, so it won't scratch anything. It's perfectly safe. It won't damage any of the fixtures and fittings, but it stops the barbecue from moving. The kayak won't slide anywhere. It means that we've got perfect um, storage. When we get to the campsite or wherever we're going, we unload the barbecue, take it out of the bag, put it outside, and then the kayak goes and sits behind the, the passenger seat, as we showed before. And that's just where we keep our bedding. When we're traveling, that's Caroline's feet over there, Molly. Um, that's where we keep our bedding uh, when we're traveling. And as soon as we land somewhere, we just pop the roof and put that all upstairs, so it's out of the way, nice and neat. Gives us all free space for more storage. So bedding lives in the back on here until we actually land, put it in the pop top, and then we're all good. So this stuff all will go outside as soon as we arrive somewhere. So welcome to my bit of our van storage and tips where we store stuff. So I explained earlier, the this bit area here, we store um, anything that we ever can't put away. So like we've got the boat in here, we've got the barbecue there outside now. I showed it earlier. I think I did. And uh, these are cushions, these aren't mine by the way. Under this bench here, this one's really useful. So I'll open this up so you can see it. I'm just going to move this across here because then it stays up on its own. So move that one across for a second. And then this will stay up on its own. Under here, gas struts is our full storage, and this is really useful. Can you see in here? We've got oars for your kayak. We keep our chairs under here, our folding chairs. There's one under there, a spare one. Black and Decker drill, you always need that. Um, we've got the chocks under there, we've got the pegs, we've got um, what else we got under there? Games, badminton, washing, all sorts under there. This is a really useful storage, it's a massive storage space under here. So, this is all my general equipment for the van. Uh, so I'll put the van down so you can see it. And then I'll move back to the front of the van and show you how we store everything else. So in the kitchen, Caroline, I forgot to show you one cupboard, which is this one here. This is a dead thin cupboard. Someone suggested storing wine in here. It's actually quite a narrow cupboard. We keep this really useful item in here, which is from JML. It's a uh, kitchen drainer. When you're doing the washing up, you can pop your dishes in there, wash them up, put that on the side when it's closed, and it just dries your dishes. It's really useful. I love that. They're like two quid or something, 299. But in here we store all like the first aid kit, um, warning triangle, and also that folding bucket down there we use as a bin. That lives in there as well, folded up and squished down. Also, just in case you can find it, there's also a parachute glider action man set I haven't shown Caroline yet. And that's in there too, just in case. Um, moving around to this side, you can see this storage cupboard is wicked. We've spoken about this before, but under the seat here, it lifts up. This is where we keep all of our water on the side, you can see over there, all of our water, water, Molly's equipment in here too, and also we keep our shoes, walking boots, etc. So this is where we keep all of our outdoor stuff, action equipment, etc. Really, really useful. Perfect. And then finally inside, before I move around to the front and show you. Now I know the new van hasn't got this, the 2021 model year hasn't got this feature, and it's it's like good and bad. We keep banging our heads on it constantly. Um, but actually up here for us is really useful. So this was where we store the ladder, but also at the moment, this is where we've got all of our outdoor coats, life jackets for the kayak, um, tripod, the ladder, uh, and some more outdoor stuff as well under there. So it's really, really useful. I generally, we can put the ladder up on top as well. We're not using it in the day, so it's out of the way. Otherwise it just gets in the way, but um, yeah, we find that really useful. Just over here before we move on, you can see on this side is some hooks just above where you adjust your seatbelt keep a mask on that side. On this side, we normally have Molly's um, head torch for dog walking in the dark. Useful storage on there too. So I'll move around to the cab and show you some of our top tips. Just so as you can see, Caroline is still, this chair is still usable. She can still sit in it or perch on it as she's doing. And behind this chair, we have kayak, which is full blown in the door, in the footwell. You can put it in there, stays out of the way. Um, that's Caroline's footrest because she's got little legs that goes on the floor normally but the kayak's in there so normally when it's inflated obviously it can live outside but it's moved from the back into there stores nice out of the way it doesn't interfere the door pockets in the Ducato are huge so we've actually used them for storing on this side the water hose which is in a waterproof bag and then on the other side we've got the electric cable which is really useful so one side electric one side water they stay out of the way really really useful and easy to get access to Glove box is all of our tools, equipment, so they normally live in the glove box head torch. And then the top box up underneath this one here, right out of the way. Again, we've got some more equipment, we've got the hiking GPS in there, and some other bits and pieces. Nice and useful um, on the dash. So using every single bit of storage we've got on the Ducato, 
really useful for packing and uh, using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything else you want to add? Um, I'll probably think of something when you stop filming. Okay, we'll come back to this in a second, we'll have a look around. Every and just to show you what's under the driver's side rear bench, it's basically the boiler. We've got the Truma boiler in this one. On the new vans, they have a whale underfloor system, so they've got a bit more space. Um, then we've got one leisure battery in there and our sergeant unit, control unit for the van. Um, you can put another leisure battery in there, fit another space in, but we've not done on ours, just to save on the weight. It can fit more outdoor stuff in it. So that's all that's under the second bench. Just a point on my cupboard, when you see my clothes, they're all rolled. Uh, so folded up then rolled so they take up far less room so I've got about seven or eight t-shirts I won't show how many pair of pants I've got shorts jumpers etc not jumpers um, shorts trousers all in there rolled up fit loads in it so we hope you found that useful there are our top tips for packing our van it's what everything we put everything into the van and how we use it isn't it yeah it is yeah just try and keep it tied as you go along um, and then everything's easy to find easily accessible yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's so many different storage areas in the van, it's got stacks of space. We were not using half of it for most of the time. For a short weekend away, we've not got half the cupboards filled, but this is like a well, 17, 17 day trip, so we've packed everything we can think of for this trip. Yeah. But it goes to show you can fit loads of stuff in it. We've got a full two person inflatable kayak, the oars, the uh, life jackets, two life jackets in it as well, loads of outdoor equipment yeah. with us. Outdoor table, dog. three outdoor chairs, three chairs Molly, dog, all yeah. the stuff she needs for a everything we need so there's plenty of space um, if you're thinking about buying a camper van you're not sure on how big much space and stuff you've got in them i mean for a couple it's absolutely you know this, this van's huge it's got loads of space but certainly for a family as well it's really usable if you've got children and you know, there's loads of space for storage and toys and, and all games and things as well and i think that's pretty much it anything else can think of no I'll come back to no. you if you if you've got any hints or tips or anything that we could yeah. be doing better i think the only thing that we'd that we could do with improving on is the cu uh, cupboard where the um, plates live. Plates, yeah, we've, we kind of put them into a bag and just put them back in that cupboard, which yeah, isn't very tidy. Um, but yeah, it's probably about the only thing we haven't really figured out yeah. the best use for it yet. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video, find it useful. Um, next week we are going to film you another video on our trip about traveling with dogs, so top tips for traveling with dogs. We're going to show you what we do with Molly. How to pack she, Molly. Yeah, how to pack <laughs> Molly, basically. Where she lives, what we do with her and stuff. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Bye.